I'm matching this in my presentation about helium and neon laser. Here, helium and neon laser has an active medium, which is a source of optical gain within a laser. The active medium in helium and neon laser is not surprisingly a mixture of helium and neon gases. The proportion of helium to neon in the mixture is 5 to 1. And pump is an energy input into the medium. It can be provided as electrical light or chemical energy. The helium and neon laser uses electrical energy. Pump is required to produce population inversion without which the laser wouldn't function. In the right corner yeah, there is a picture from the lab and that's what helium and neon laser actually looks like. Now let's have a look at what the process looks like in terms of energy states. E which is energy and we're looking at the helium atom first. In order for helium to move to a higher energy state from the ground state, energy input is required in form of electrical energy. So this is the ground state. When the energy is applied, the electron moves from ground state to a higher state. In the case of helium and neon laser, it's uh, 20.61 electron volts. The collisions that occur between helium atoms and uh, the neon atoms from ground energy state, which are ground energy state, um, Transfer the energy onto neon atoms, which means now they are at 20.66 electron volts, at, and they remain at uh, at this energy level, energy state, for about 100 nanoseconds. As the electron drops to a lower energy state of about one. 18.7 electron volts it emits photon of wavelength of 632.8 nanometers it is red light then further the excitation of of neon electrons occur and they drop down to 16 0.9 electron volts and then by, and this, this happens by radiative decay and then there is further uh, the excitation from this level of 16.9 electron volts to ground state and this happens uh, by the electrons colliding with walls of the tube Now let's have a look at basic structure of helium and neon laser. The whole structure is enclosed in a glass envelope. The envelope is of course filled with the gas mixture of helium and neon and it has a glass tube running through it. And at the end of that glass tube, there is 100% reflective mirror. There are also anode attached on this end and cathode attached on this end, for which uh, a voltage is applied. The voltage used uh, for a particular laser will depend on the diameter of the bore tube, the glass tube, gas field pressure and length of the laser. At the other end of the laser, we have uh, a partially reflective mirror, right here, and the light bounces between two mirrors and some of it is let out through uh, this partially reflective mirror. So the, la the laser uh, stream will look something like this, like the line running through the middle. Helium and neon laser has many uses, medical as well as non-medical. As you can see, the first example is use of uh, helium and neon laser and laser eye surgery and helium neon laser is used because it's, it emits visible light and it's used to position the cutting beams used in eye surgery it's also used in acupuncture 
low level neon, helium neon laser is used to stimulate particular points on the body and laser is used instead of traditional thin needles and the non-medical uses of helium neon laser include its use in surveying the advantage of helium and neon laser light being visible makes it perfect for use of use for surveying of inaccessible areas the laser provides precision in measurements over long distances and also I'm sure we all have the chance to see helium and neon laser in action wherever we go shopping as it's used in barcode scanners. And here are the sources that I used to do this presentation.